G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Welcome to Late Night Pouring. Uh, I, um, I want to try something. I want to try another fairy flower, but I want to try and make the colours not quite as dark as I have been. A little bit more transparent. And also I want to try and make my dots a bit bigger. Um, now, colours today, totally inspired by the lovely Jacqueline Say. Hi Jackie, do we call you Jackie? Not sure. Um, she, I, I'm not using her exact brand that she used, but um, I'm using my Holbein inks, acrylic inks, and I've got Hansa Yellow, Quinacridone Magenta, and Athalo Turquoise. So I've got those. And I'm using my large, chunky edge mold. So we're going to get started, and I'm going to do a dirty pour. So I'm going to put a third of my yellow in there and then a third of my pink we'll call it pink even though it's magenta and a third of the turquoise now my very first fairy flower I did very similar colors I did yellow red and blue so they they're very similar but just changing the red for like for the magenta and changing the blue for a turquoise and uh, yeah, putting less drops of colour in just to see if I can get more of like a, a pastel-y kind of a look. And we shall see. I think I've got about, I think I've got six drops of yellow in, in this one. Well, normally I would put more in, but we'll see how that goes with that. So I'm hoping for some pretty sort of fairy floss, pastel -y colours. When you're doing a dirty pour, you've really got to think about what colours you're putting together because you could end up with brown. You know, yellow and purple are not good together <laughs> for a start. Um, primary colours are always good together because you're going to make other colors with them you know yellow and blue makes green and yellow and red makes orange so you're pretty pretty good with your um pretty safe with your primary colors I'd actually like to do one with purple and blue I don't think I've done that yet purple and blue all right so there's all my colors in there um, I will link the large chunky live edge mold down in the description if anybody wants it um, my white is my bloom paste my highly pigmented white pigment paste oops oh, hang on hang on hang on hang on i'm gonna give it a bit of a swirl before i do anything else forgot to swirl forgot to swirl all right here we go It doesn't look as if I'm getting a much of a variety of colours. I'll just go around and around and around and around and around, try to kind of mix those colours a little bit. Now, as usual, um, the recipe, all the amounts, brands, everything are from um, resincourses.com. It's all their recipes. I, I'm not allowed to share it. If you want to do the course um, like I did, I have linked the website with a coupon code for you down in the description um, and you can learn how to do it. It's a lot of fun. If you like a challenge, like like I do, I love a challenge. Yeah, trying things over and over until I can get it right um, because the products they use are a little bit different to the products I can get in Australia. So I'm just kind of tweaking it a little bit. So anyway, there's my Bloom white pigment paste. In there that's for my dotting and then this one's also my bloom pigment paste but it's um, a little bit more transparent and then in my little cup here I've got a tiny little bit of clear with some gold stones and some PDB creative studio glitter with it called allure so that's going to be my center alrighty so let's pop this in the piping bag I do want to as I said, make my dots a little bit bigger this time. Because when I've been doing my fairy flower, even though they've been lovely and I've been happy with them, I've been getting really small, fine petals. 
Um, and I'm just wondering if it's because I'm doing my dots a little bit small. So testing that theory out today. <laughs> See if I, it looks just very dark, doesn't it? Here am I trying to make my colours a bit lighter. It just still looks really dark. Maybe next time I can go lighter again and see see how that goes. Now, take the top off that. Like I said, I do want to make my little dots a bit bigger this time. But not you can't cut the holes too big, otherwise it's just going to all drip out. So... Doing them bigger, bigger than what I normally do, and we'll see what happens. It's the only way I'm going to know. Probably doing them twice the size of what I would normally do. So I'm hoping they're going to get sort of thicker, kind of chunkier petals in, in the centre. We shall see. And going around again, try to sort of put the dot in between the dots above. Not always possible because the inner circle is a bit smaller, but let's see what you can do. And again, everything's starting to move already. I'm just squeezing with my thumb as I'm dropping the dot, I'm squeezing with my thumb and then release the pressure as I pull the bag back up again. I don't want to go too close to the center because I don't want to, you know, too much of a white blob in the middle. So I'll stop there and then um, continue again with the dots because these have all sort of started moving towards the center now. So I've got a bit of room there. I can go through, put a few more dots in. Noisy dogs. I don't know what set them off so late at night. Could be my husband, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I'm going to go around again and just put another little row just between anything that looks kind of as if it needs a bit more colour. Like so. And I've got a little bit left. I'll just put a bit more over. Do a little, little swirly around the outside. I've done this before, I think, once. It's what you do with the dragon flower, but I, I think I have done it before with the um, fairy as well. I think the shape of your mould as well makes a big difference as to the effects that you're going to get. going to finish off my white so the little experiment today is having less color but more white and we'll just see if it makes any difference at all hey so I'll be super keen to see I won't be able to unmold it tonight <laughs> It's, it's almost bedtime, but I wanted to come and try. All right, that's it. Done skis. Done skis. All right, finish that all off. Normally I don't, so we'll see. See, hopefully it's not going to be like too heavy and all we're going to see is white everywhere because it was a lot of white, but. Anyway, we'll see. We shall see what happens. It's only resin. We can do it again if it doesn't work. All right, now, find your middle and dump it in. Whoa, don't go over. Don't go over, don't go over. All right, we better stop there. So I am using the Art Pro Resin from Resin Pro. And I mixed up, what did I mix up? I'll write it down. 135 grams of A and 90 grams of B. It's a three to two resin. So it takes a little bit of adjusting, you know, if you're used to a two to one or a, a one to one. 
takes a little bit of working out, a little bit of maths. All right, there we go. There we go. It's probably a little bit on the full side. It looks very dark, like seriously, dude. I didn't use that much colour. I didn't think I did. All right, now don't overflow. <laughs> Maybe I should take a bit out. didn't realise I was... I had so much in there. Let's take a little bit out. Four mil. Hate for it to overflow. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'll clean out my syringe with um, just a little bit of alcohol. All right, and in the middle. With that, try and get it in the middle anyway. Bit hard to see because you can't see in there, but okay, there we go. Haven't used it all. I don't want too much, like, you know, too big of a blob in the center. And as you can see, it closes up really, really fast. So, cross fingers. It looks very green. But I did tell you, yellow and blue make green, and I already had a turquoise in there, so I hope it's not going to be too green. I'm hoping it's going to be pastel y with all that white and a little bit less colour. I'm hoping for some, some pretty pastels. So just cleaning off all my sticks so that I can reuse them again tomorrow because I get to pour again tomorrow. So, yay. All right. Um, leave it at that. Give it a quick little torch for some bubbles and cross fingers. We'll see what it's like tomorrow. I get to wake up tomorrow and go, yay, it's unmolding day and race down to the studio. So I love unmolding day. Okay, see you then. It's the next day. It has all set up. It's looking pretty cool. I hope I do get more of a blended pastel -y look. All right. Comes out so much easier when you've you know left it overnight rather than putting it in the heater because <clears throat> the sides aren't soft anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Shall we do this? Oh my gosh, I've got some floaty bits. See, this is why I don't particularly like using the glitter, but I mixed it with the stone. I thought it would be all right, but we've still got a few there. A few little floaty bits. All right. Without further ado, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. It is more blended. Goodness me. Gee, I've overfilled it a bit. Look at my little edges I need to trim. Wow. That is so pretty. Oh, do you like that? It's pastel -y. I think my petals are a bit thicker. <clears throat> do they look a bit thicker to you? Or do they still look really fine? Let me go and grab one of the other ones and we'll compare, hey? So this was the first fairy flower with the really bright colours. Um, this was the one I was sort of trying to have them a little bit more subdued. So here we go. Looking at this one, it's much more green, isn't it? Much more green. Probably need to cut back on my amount of the, the blue that I'm using, hey? Because yellow and green make green. And then I had it turquoise as well, which is kind of a green. But look, they're both really pretty. It just it just depends on what you want, I guess. And um, I get I get a different effect every single time. Now, if we look closely at the actual petals in the center, in here, this is my very first attempt. Okay, so don't be too critical of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, just looking at the size of the petals there, the size of the petals here. These to me look a bit sort of squished. I'm thinking maybe I've put too many dots in. Maybe that's something I can try next time. I hope you don't mind if there's a next time. Because like, you know I went around and around and around and then around again and <laughs> then added more and maybe maybe if I try not to put so many dots in they won't be so squished. Maybe they'll be more individual. So let's try that next time, eh? 
Let's try that and see if that works. My little theory, see if my theory works. I don't know. We'll check it out. Okay, so hopefully, does it look more blue over there? Mm, hopefully it looks more blue. Okay, there we go. Look, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah, pity it's just a bit blue, but oh, now we're going here away from the bright lights. And that's the, that's the true colour that you can see there. Got a little bit of that pink. I pretty much lost all the pink, didn't I? Yep, it kind of, the blue took over. You can see a bit of yellow and even less pink. <laughs> There's one tiny bit of pink on that right side there. Look at that, little tiny bit of pink there. Now how did we go for bubbles by hitting it on the surface? Hello, Spence. Spence is going to the vet this morning to get his baby teeth removed. You can't go in there yet. No, you can't. We've got to stay away from food. <clears throat> He's gnawed by mouth. He's gnawed by mouth. <laughs> We've got to stay away from all the other doggies and the food. You tell them, Spencer. You tell them, yes. His tiny little thing is like two pounds, 1.2 kilos. Anyway, back to this. Get away from the little photo bomber. Um, yeah, all right, so there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, like I said, I've tried with extra white, like bigger dots in this one. Um, hasn't really done much. So I think next time I will try... I'll try bigger dots again, but I won't do as many, okay? And we'll see how that goes. Just so that we can see if we can get like a, a bigger petal, but oh, it's so pretty, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I've got to get organized to take Spencer to the vet and um, I will see you all again real soon for the next paw. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.